In today's video on how to build your food truck with me, Frank Baltieres, I'm going to show you a grand tour of my food truck being Rolling Burritos, the original food truck that I built from the beginning, where I've shown you step by step how you can build your own food truck. I've shown you in a few food trucks how I built them. They've all been pretty much the same. I've used the same trailer uh, manufacturer with the same trailer model being Cargo Mate Blazer. I know I get a lot of questions on what brand and what model is it. So it's a Cargo Mate Blazer, that's the model number, 7x16, inside height, this one's 6'5". They also make one that's 7 feet, probably 6'11", right around there. Just give you an idea of how they make these Cargo Mate Blazers. And that's, that's pretty much all you need to know on there because it's a Cargo Mate Blazer. So if you guys ask me that question, there's the answer to that one because I usually do a Q&A every week where I answer all your questions that you guys put in the comment section. So thank you again for putting that in the description because I do see each and every one and I answer them all myself. I forgot to say, if you guys are new to the ch channel, welcome. If you've been a fellow subscriber, thank you for watching all the videos, for commenting and for uh, sending me the messages on there of your builds and how they're going. But let's get started right away. This is the outside. As I mentioned, Cargo Mate Blazer. Right here in the front, you have the main guts, so to speak, of the of the trailer of your food truck. Food trailer, same thing. There's no difference between a truck and a trailer. Just a little bit of the outside. It's kind of like a house and a bigger house, right? Your house maybe is a thousand square feet, and there's another one that's four thousand square feet. Still the same thing, just one's bigger than the other. Same thing with the food truck or a food trailer. So right here we have the generator. This is my Westinghouse generator. It pushes about 30 amps of 120 power. The very important detail to know that it pushes 120 power at 30 amps because you take the 4,500, you divide that by 120, um, and then that'll give you your amps. These are, let me see, because there's two different ratings on the generator. They have one that's right when you turn it on and then another one that says running watts so you make sure that you use the running watts but i know this one pushes about 30 amps they make other they make other generators but this is the one that's been working well for me and this is where i keep it right here it doesn't move and it's right on this generator strongberg trailer tray down here we have two 30 pound propane tanks you can fit because i measured it you can fit two 40 pound propane tanks and it'll go like all the way up here so it still gives you a little bit of room to be able to remove them when you, when you need to fill them. Back here, I don't know if you guys can see that, that's called a propane changeover regulator. That right there is a beauty because if you run out of uh, propane, there's a lever in the back that you just go left and you turn right. So if, you, if this one empties out, you can go to this one and vice versa. So it's a real nice feature to have in case you're out in the field and you uh, run out of propane, <laughs> quickly you just switch it over one to the other. Down here, this little critter, that's a uh, propane tray. I bought that from Flame King. And all these things that I'm telling you about where I buy them, I usually find them on Amazon. So I'm gonna link a paid Amazon affiliate link so you guys can find the materials quicker and easier. Some of them might be sold out because you guys buy everything that I put on there. So just know that maybe it's something similar. It might not be the exact same link that I send you. But if you guys have any questions, Rolling burritos food truck at gmail.com. Let's move on, move on right over here to the electrical. I do want to mention one more thing. I do have a spreadsheet that I used to offer for free. There's a keyword I used to offer for free. I don't anymore. Uh, it's, but it's almost like a cheat sheet. You guys can find every link for free of everything that I put here on all my videos because I link them there in the descriptions. But if you guys want it like a cheat sheet, faster, easier, quicker, you guys can always reach out to me on email as well. But down here, there's two different types. This is a uh, power inlet box. There's two different types of them. One's a 30 amp and one's a 50 amp. And obviously the difference is one's bigger than the other. One handles more amps than the other because of the wiring inside. This one right here is a plug that I use. If you guys can see here, there's just a regular extension cord that plugs into the house. And what I use is I use this as power like when I'm at the house or I just want to power something on if I'm cleaning. This is actually a 50 amp one. It's a little bit bigger. So this one will not fit in here because uh, this one's a 30 amp. But I just wanted to show you guys, this is the easiest one that I had right accessible to me in front of my face. So this is a 50 amp generator plug. And then this is the inlet box, this is a 30 amp. But they, they make them both. Just know that they make a 30 amp, they make a 50 amp. 
they make a 30 amp, they make a 50 amp. So that's the power right here. And this will power your generator that you have right up here. And then you can power up your food truck. Let's move right inside and let's talk about the rest. So right here in the front, before we go inside, I want to show you some of the other features that you have in your food truck, which makes a food truck a food truck. Typically, it's your window. And I bought this one from JR Aluminum. Again, I repeat, JR Aluminum, and they are in Ohio. Great quality window. I do not have any type of commission affiliate with them or anything of that nature. They don't pay me to talk about their company. The only thing that I know is that they're good people and they make a great product. Kind of like this window here. It's lasted me for years and years and years. So we have this. This is a, a um, the model. I think it's 23X or something like that, but it's it has a slider window right here. You can see it has a slider window. And then it has this one where you can take almost like the tickets. So it has two different windows. And that's what I like about it the most is that it has that versatility to have that. Down here, it's a, uh, my gosh, it's same thing from JR Aluminum. I'm trying to think of the window, a serving table. And it has little clips right here. You just clip that down, you clip that down. And then that has that right there. So you can put your, your, uh, your tip jar on here, your napkins, your utensils. Customers usually come here. They always do this so you want to make sure you install it correctly because you might have somebody that leans the hallway and you don't want it to fall off on them so make sure that when you're doing these installations you grab the stud in the back and i show you how to do these on all the videos because i do put it step by step so you guys can have an easy to follow plan on anything that you do there is no specific way on how i do the builds on the trailers i do not build trailers for anybody just so you guys know there's i do not build trailers as a living I do not build trailers for customers. I just build them to show you guys how I did mine. And I've done a few of them just because I wanted to show you because I missed some things and I want to make sure I cover every single detail for you guys to have it. Let's go inside now. Moving inside, uh, just don't mind a little bit of mess. I haven't opened up for the season yet. Actually tomorrow being Friday, May something, <laughs> there is a food truck festival in the city of Aurora, Illinois because I'm in, or I'm in Illinois. And I'm gonna go out there, so I'm gonna film a little bit of a video there just so you guys can see different ideas for your food truck. I've done it in Milwaukee. I've done it in West Chicago, where I go to these food truck festivals. And I kind of just film different food trucks that are there and how they're built. The generators, you guys can hear the sound. Some of them are super quiet, like the Predator. And then some of them don't wanna spend any money on a good generator. And they're like Brrr! literally that loud. You can hear it across the street. Make sure you spend the right amount of money for the job that you want. Something's gonna cost you more, but the, ben the, the benefits are gonna be phenomenal. So let's move on right here. You guys can see right here, I have a hand sink. This hand sink right here is a specific measurement from my health department because they wanted it to be a certain bowl size. So make sure that you check your health department. Very important to know the details of what they want. Not what I tell you right now, but what they are looking for so they can approve you. Back here, I have my propane water heater. Down there in the corner, you probably can't see it. I have a water pump. It's a C-Flow, 120 volts. 120 volt, I repeat it because you guys sometimes message me, hey, I bought this one and it doesn't work. It's because they have a 12 volt option as well. And that's not the same thing. It one's a DC that works on a trailer power, kind of from your truck. And then the other one's 120, which is what you would have in your house. So there's a big difference. Just make sure that you buy the right product. Right here, I have the hand sink, sorry. The three compartment sink for the wash, rinse, sanitize. The exact same size, again, that my health department requires. Make sure that you check with yours. Back here, I have my um, sanitizer and my washer system. Do I recommend it? Probably not really. You guys can use the little jugs and you guys will be fine. Don't buy this fancy stuff. Sometimes it, it's more problem sometimes than what you guys think it looks cool. <laughs> but it really probably isn't. Just make sure you keep it basic, keep it simple. Little, the little jugs from Gordon's or whatever, and you guys are fine. Back here, I have my um, my fire alarm system. That one was not installed by me. I was a third party because they need to get certified. So do not ask me how to install a fire inst uh, installation system because I do not know how, and I do not want to learn. <laughs> and right here, we're moving on to the cooking equipment. We're just gonna do a quick turn and we're out of here. I have my 24 inch uh, burner. It's propane, but it first comes from the factory as natural gas. On the description, I bought these from Webstra. On the description, it says LP field convertible. So that means it can be converted to liquid propane in the field. So that's what I did. 
I changed them, the little nozzles that they, that they give you. Same thing I did with the griddle. This is a 36 inch griddle. This thing's a heavy boy, heavy, heavy. It's probably like four or 500 pounds. So make sure that you have a helping hand when you put this on the top there. Moving on over here, if, if I were to build my food truck again, I'll tell you guys something that I would do. I'm gonna show you down here, but again, don't mind my mess, is I would not buy the table all the way over here. I would have bought, I would have ended it right here and I would have bought a bigger food warmer. An electric food warmer is what I would have bought. Atosa makes a nice one. Uh, Cayenne Volrath, this is a nice um, food warmer as well. The only thing is it doesn't have a lot of space. So when I used to cook my breakfast burritos right here, this thing was like just filling up all the time. So it was a constant motion of food. If I had bigger bins, that'd be nice. But this one's not bad. It's just if I were to rebuild my food truck again, that's what I would do different. Up here I have can lights. Uh, and I've said it before, and I don't think I'd do it. I don't think I would put can lights again, just so you guys know. I would put these LED strips. These are nice. These are four foot LED strips from uh, Sylvania. These are real nice, nice and bright. If I were to rebuild it, I'm just telling you little things that would change because you learn as you go sometimes. But these can lights are nice. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just if I had to pick again, I would probably do these strip lights that you see here. And I do link this in the description so you guys can buy it as well. Back here, I looked on Facebook Marketplace. I didn't buy it brand new, just so you guys know. This five foot fridge. Actually, this one is a, uh, yeah. This one's a five foot prep fridge. This is my only fridge in here. And this one is made by is made by True. It's about a $4,000 fridge and I bought it for about 1,800 bucks from a shop that was closing. It was an old ice cream shop that was closing. So sometimes on Facebook, you can find good deals. That's where I found all my trailers as well. It's on Facebook Marketplace. So if you guys ask me where to find them, Facebook Marketplace sometimes is a good place to find deals. No warranty, obviously. So it's up to you to buy something at your own risk. And then last but not least, sorry, we have this uh, electrical panel right there. I am gonna do another video on the electrical panel. I wanna cover it in detail because you guys ask me a lot of questions on the electrical and I don't think I've been as thorough as I should. So I wanna take a good you know, eight minutes talking about the panel and the wiring and the electrical. That way I answer each and every, every one of your questions. But I just wanna make sure that I get a video out there for you guys so you guys can see my food truck again. I got my prep tables right here. That way um, I put my bins here for storage at the bottom. Anything else that you guys have any questions, please drop it in the comments. I'll film a, I'll film a video about it. Again, I'm Frank Baltieres, and I show you how to build the food trucks from scratch, from A to Z, anything you need to know, drop it in the comments, and I answer each and every question and comment myself. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.